It is a terrible night out here. I'm Theo Keith with more warnings from emergency management leaders about not driving and that they can't help you if you get stuck. Theo Keith has the newest warnings from emergency officials for overnight and the morning commute. Well, Sarah, this is it is really unpleasant out here. The wind just blew me about blew me over here. And the real problem here now that the snow has really stopped is going to be blowing and drifting. As you can see here, some pretty big piles and they're on the sides of pretty much every road. And the problem that's going to start happening is this right here. This uh, yardstick right here, 10 inches of snow in just a pure snow drift. If you take a look back at the belt line, things are pretty good, very quiet right now on the belt line, and the road is fairly clear. You cannot say that about the rural roads, though, which is where they're really worried about some of that blowing and drifting. And the other concern is the power. If it's going to go out, it may very well stay out. The storm has certainly lived up to its forecast. Crashes continued all day and into the night. This one sent a semi jackknifing across US 151, shutting down the road for hours. It's since reopened. We're asking all of our residents to stay home. Do not travel on Dane County's roads. County crews are plowing state highways, but not the county and rural roads overnight. If you do drive and go off the road, the sheriff says it's going to take a long time to get to you and use extreme caution if you have to go to work Friday morning. If it sounds like we keep hammering at this, we are because that's the safest place to be in an emergency in a snowstorm like this. And uh, let us do our jobs, let us clear our roads, and then our life will return to normal as quickly as possible. The other problem, the power. Major utilities report at least 25,000 people are in the dark statewide, although that's not even close to the true picture because not every provider is reporting. As the night progresses, as the wind starts blowing and that heavy snow is kind of laying on the lines and then the wind comes along and it's icy that we are going to have some power outages. And if it goes out, it'll stay out. Dane County's major utilities say don't expect it back on until sometime Friday. The National Guard remains on active duty, although they haven't gotten called yet. The good news is emergency management officials say there have been no reported deaths since a fatal crash in Rock County early Thursday. People have days of warnings and they took it very seriously so that was a huge factor that that really saved a lot of grief and it probably saved a lot of lives but there were still crashes on the interstate but one thing that didn't happen yesterday we told you that the dot could drop gates on interstate on ramps essentially shutting down the road that didn't happen because emergency management officials decided that traffic volumes were light enough that they didn't have to do any shutting down of those major roads. Still though, the advice is if you can, stay home.